Mistral AI is an incredible AI model that you should probably know exists. In this video, I'm going to go through everything that it does so then you can decide whether you should be replacing this for ChatGPT or not. We're going to have a full-fledged blog post by the end of this that it's going to include a very high quality image, some tables, and even an interactive HTML element that we're going to do all from Mistral AI chat. All the assets that I use in the video will be linked in the video description below. Cool. So. If you go to Mistral AI, you're going to see that there's got a, a couple of more options here. By the way, this is 100% free. It's got the Canvas option, which is much like GPT's Canvas, as well as Claude has. It's got web search, image generation, and code interpreter. With the image generation, though, a really interesting fact is that this uses Flux as an image generator, which is vastly superior than DALI. So you're getting a really high quality image from the same chat. Really, really cool stuff. So I've got a pre-prepared prompt here and you can have access to this below. It's just a simple prompt telling it that, hey, I wanna write about this topic. We're gonna to write for this audience, research it and come back to me with the first draft. So here you can see that you can input the topic here and I'm gonna input the topic as generative uh, engine optimization. You need to put the target audience here. I'm going to place uh, small business owners. You can change a little bit, but really it's the same thing. Here you can see that it's doing some research and it's now putting things together. It tends to be a little bit faster in some cases than ChatGPT or not, but regardless, you can see that it already is writing this thing. Whilst it's writing it, let's just read the first sentence to see what it writes like kind of straight out of the box without some serious prompting to change the tone of voice. Generative Engine Optimization, GEO, is a new approach to improve visibility on AI-driven search engines like Google's new search generative experience, also known as AI overviews. Yep, that's fine. I don't mind that. It touches on uh, GPT, Claude, SGE, Gemini, Perplexity. Yep, this is good. One thing that this doesn't do really well, and unless you prompt it really well, the GPT-40 also struggles, is the inputting the actual URL uh, of the source that we're using within the contextual keyword. You might have to do that manually, but that's okay. That's not the worst thing here. Um, I wanna show you a couple of things though that make this incredibly useful for when you're writing a blog content. Perfect, so we've got the blog post here. Uh, we're going to kind of use it. We've got the first copy of the blog post here and it looks okay. What I wanna do now is prompt it very quickly to say, okay, perfect, now generate me a feature image for this blog post. I do need to ensure that I've got selected here the image generation uh, and I've given, it a, a, I've given it a fairly broad prompt here. It's just generate a realistic image I can use for image blog post, make it 16 by nine. So I'm not telling it generate this image in terms of like what the image should be. I'm kind of a leaving it up to it because it should know. It just wrote the whole blog post. Hopefully it comes out with something really good. If you've got a certain kind of uh, tone or style for the image, then you obviously need to be a, more, a lot more precise of how it should generate the image. But I mainly just want to show you the incredible image that it actually generates. This is really, really good and it's a lot better than DALI, at least in my opinion, because it is using Flux. Really, really cool. So I can download that as the feature image. And now we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do an interactive HTML element that we can kind of place in throughout the blog post. So this with an image and maybe a illustration is really gonna add a lot more variety to the blog post and allow us to hopefully rank a little bit higher because we're adding more value to the blog post. Before we do this, we obviously need to have the code interpreter selected. And now we say, uh, great, now create a interactive HTML element that I can place throughout the blog post that explains the differences between GEO and SEO. And just at the end, I'm also gonna add, I wanna see it in Canvas. So it'll open up the Canvas and I can see it live right away. Another nice little feature. I had to prompt it one more time to tell it that I want to see this thing in Canvas and now it opened up the Canvas feature and I can start seeing that now. I really like the way this looks. The UI looks really, really nice. I like the color format that they've chosen, but let's see how our interactive HTML element will look like in our blog post. Cool, now I've got a little interactive feature that says GEO and if I click SEO, it shows me this. 
Not too bad, I can definitely add that to the blog post. I know it might seem really simple and stupid, but people just interacting with the GEO button and the SEO button will add more positive signals to Google indicating that people are actually enjoying this blog post. Nothing that's gonna make you rank overnight, number one, but it's these little 1% things that you really wanna add. Really, really cool. So now, in a matter of minutes, I have a couple of things here. I have a pretty good blog post that I might need to amend a little bit, but that's okay. It's For the most part, it's done here. Uh, let's take a look at the keywords, if it actually did 1,500. A lot less than we actually wanted to do, almost half. But that's reminiscent of ChatGPT as well. You might need to expand a couple of things. Regardless, an incredible image to go along with it. So if we go up a little bit further here, we see our image, which I am a fan of. And then a little HTML element, which we can see within the same chat uh, with the canvas feature. Really, really smart tool. The way that it writes straight out of the box is not bad whatsoever. I would say it's definitely on par with GPT-40. So make sure that if you want to test another tool that isn't ChatGPT and you want a nice image generator to go along with it and a canvas feature, check out Mistral AI. It is quite incredible. I'll leave resources to everything that I showed you, just the prompt below in the video. Um, and that is it. Remember though, that writing good content like this is only one part of the SEO puzzle. puzzle. And if you want to actually rank really well, you need to learn on-site SEO, how to backlink correctly, and how to automate a lot of this stuff so you maximize your output. If you want to learn how to do that, you can join our free community, the AR Ranking School community. I'll leave a link to that below as well. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and like it so more people see it that need to see this type of video. Cheers. I'll catch you in the next one.